Hi, this is Garrett from Macetech.com. Today I'm going to talk about the RGB shades from Macetech. This is a prototype of a product that we'll have out available soon. It's basically a set of shutter shades with WS2812 LEDs arranged on the front. And when you turn them on, they can do stuff like this. So, obviously very bright, very colorful, and uh, fully controllable, so you can do all sorts of really cool patterns on them. But one thing they don't have is, you know, they, they don't have any way to input data to them other than button presses. So they're purely an output device. And today, I want to change that. So, what I'm going to be doing is adding auto uh, response circuit to this uh, controller over here, which is detachable, but I think I'll just uh, do it on the glasses today. So I'm going to base it on the MSG EQ7 and uh, an electric microphone. And uh, so I need a preamp for the microphone. I don't have a, a uh, an LM358 in dip, so I'm just going to use uh, an SOIC, and it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so this is the circuit that I'm going to be putting together on a little piece of protoboard, and I'll, I'll cut this down to make it fit a little bit better. And I think I'll just stick it on there temporarily with uh, double-sided tape. So without further ado, let's get to work. Okay, so I've gotten this circuit put together, a couple false starts, but uh, I think it'll work. Everything's checked off, and uh, it's on the board at least. And close up of the, some of the wiring on the back. It's messy, a combination of surface mount and through hole components, but yeah, it'll probably work. So I think I'm going to just see if the microphone uh, picks up anything first, just to, using a oscilloscope. All right, so the microphone amplifier, at least, seems to be activating you know, as I talk into it, blow into it. So I think this is going to work. Um, see if the MSG EQ7 is working. I'm just going to solder these up to the glasses.
Okay, so I've soldered the sound detection circuit onto the glasses, and I haven't trimmed the board yet to, uh, to mount it on there, but uh, everything's wired up, and I've set up some code to uh, use the uh, communicate with the MSG EQ7 chip and uh, convert that to some kind of uh, fancy patterns on the front. So let's turn this on and see what happens. So, I would call it a success. I'm pretty happy with the response and the frequency detection. So now I've got the the, uh, the board mounted on the side, just kind of trimmed down to a, a more manageable size. So that looks ready to go. That's pretty compact. Um, very small amount of components. I really should just add this to the board itself, but since the board is replaceable, I could release a board that fits on here and just has more functions and people could just choose like, which one they wanted. So I also went ahead and took the single color LED shades and added the sound circuit to that just to see if that would work as well. And it does, it's really cool. Um, so basically just, there's also some pins here you can solder to and uh, just uh, use the exact same connections. It seems to work fine on uh, 3.7 volts as opposed to the 5 volts that the RGB shades run on. So I already programmed several sound reactive patterns in here. I'll go ahead and turn that on and give it a try. So.
Hi, this is Garrett from macetech.com. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video today. If you have more ideas, say more patterns or more sensors to add to the glasses, just let me know in the comments and uh, maybe I can do a follow-up video and add those to it. So yeah, thanks for stopping by and uh, we'll see you later.